It's your boy, T. Light. Oh, yeah. I'm back up in this piece. Jitig. Yes, yes. Shout out to the light crew. Shout out to the light crew. One more time. Shout out to the light crew. We doing our thing all 2020, 21, 22, 23, 24, and into infinity and beyond. Jitig. But, man, I just want to say I appreciate the light crew, man, for all the support, man. Y'all see me at car meets, man. Y'all see me in the streets, man. Y'all be hollering at me, man. I appreciate all the love y'all showing me, man. It's really unbelievable. But uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, man, quit playing with yourself. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You made it this far, so you might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification button so you will always be right there when I drop those fire ball videos. Did it? I'm talking about it coming in like... I tell you, my videos be off the chain. But with that being said, man, I got something real special for y'all today. What you got for him, T Light? Mm. <laughs> we got a QX60, baby. That's right, a QX60. This bad boy is off the meter, off the meat, reek, teak, freak, deek, big elite. I made that up, but yeah, it's real nice too, man. I'm trying to tell you, I like it, man. You already know what we gonna do. Should we hit him from the back? Man, let's go hit him from the back this time. Psych, we gonna hit him from the front, man. I'm just playing with y'all, man. We gonna go ahead and hit it in the front. We gonna get that face action. You know I like to look eye to eye, baby. Let's go on out and see what it's looking like in the front. Yes, yes, yes. As Hemi Life would say, yes, sir. That bad boy looking real goody, goody, booty. Mm-hmm. Let's start out with the Lizites. The lights, man. You look at the lights, man. They look, they look a little bit like, like they, like you look at, they look a little mean. I like how they look. You got the daytime running lights right there. Those always gonna be on in the daytime, you know. It look good. Pay, they pay nice little detail to the lights as you can see. They pay some detail to these. You see all the little designs and all the little all the little giblets, as my guy tall guy would say, all the little giblets inside there, man. And uh you gotta go ahead and say, man, these lights is on point, man. You can't can't knock these lights. These lights look real good. You got your blinkers on the side right there so people can see those so they can't be like, I didn't see you, I didn't see your blinkers. Oh, you saw my blinkers. Look how cool these blinkers is. They saw them, they saw them, they lying if they say they didn't. Then you got your fog lights down here, bam. Looking real good, they squeezed them in there real. They got the chrome going around them too. That's real nice. Then you got the chrome accents going all the way around the fog light cover, the fog light holder, whatever you want to call it. They got a fat little lip on this little chrome little piece too. So that's looking real good. Then you got the little plastic piece right there. Looking good and it's open like I like it, man. It's vented. So you can't say, oh man, that's cheap stuff. Oh, this thing, they paid some money on this. They put they put a little bit of money in these. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're going to work our way to the grill deal. The grill looking real good. It's chrome on the outside. It's like a, this ain't black, man. It's like a grayish color like off like almost like a pyrite gold color a gray a gloss gray let's call it like a glossy gray and then you got the chrome on the on the upper part of the bumper go all the way around like on all infinities then you got that massive infinity sign the massive size of that infinity sign looking real nice man pan on out so y'all can see it again that grill off the point man that grill on point pointy doink that grill top of the volcano hot mm-hmm hotty dotty and then you got your little lip at the bottom at the bottom grilly as you can see the bottom grilly got a little lip on it so it look real good bottom grill look real good on point man this whole front of this the whole front of this as you can see the whole front of this qx60 is real nice man it's real luxurious real luxurious i think this is this is giving the ford explorers and uh arcadias and all that stuff this is what this is this the this is the go against those range little range rovers this thing is accurate accuracy we're gonna we're gonna give them a run for their money i mean infinity and they definitely giving them a run for their money with this bad boy this bad boy is man infinity's got they they own little unique design and this this design is real nice i'm talking about on point doing they got the 18 inch wheels which look real good on them two-tone we got the like chrome and then we got the gray up there chrome and then gray two-tone with the infinity sign in the middle looking real nice not overdone. Then sitting on a 235 fat boy tire. 235 65 fat boy tire. 
as you can see the old fat boy tire looking real fat you could easily put some 26s on this with no rub if you wanted to go hood style put some 26s on it or you could just go with, like i would do put some 24 inch wheels on it and it'd look real good or you can keep it factory whatever floats your boat whatever makes you feel good you do what you do it's your vehicle you got to pay for it i can't tell you how to do what you want what you're going to do with yours and then you got the little 3.5 in there that's what's inside that's the motor 3.5 so you know they definitely gonna put that there to let everybody know what you're working with. I like to have my stuff asleep, but I'll take that off. Pop that right on off. And you got the, uh, the mirror with the blinker. I love the blinker lights. I don't know why I'm so, I don't know why I like blinker lights so much, but I do, I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. Hmm. And then you got your mirrors. Heated, these are heated mirrors. Looking real good, a real official dish. You got your uh, door handles, they chrome. With your little door button, That's, they should have made the door button the same color as the car. That would have been fire. But, hey, it is what it is. Still look good. We ain't going to give it no fart. Going down, you got chrome down here at the bottom of the bottom of the uh, SUV. Look at that, man. This thing look good. Then you got your little side skirts on the side. Mm-hmm. Everything looks good, man. This thing's on point. The windows is all got chrome accent going all the way around the windows. As you can see, you got a chrome going all the way around, all the way to the back. Real nice. And they pay a little attention to it. Look how they little design on it right there. You see how they little swirl right there? Ooh, swirly whirly. Yeah, looks good, man. You look at the fine little lines. They got the fine lines so you can look at the aesthetics of it. Fine lines looking real good. Another, I gotta scratch my little belly right there. All right, itching a little bit. Another 18 inch back there. It's hot out here. They got like a little mud flap right there. They put some money into this. Obviously this QX60, it's, 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 it's expensive. They put some money into it and going to the back. Got the lights wrap around. They got the wrap around lights as most you, most cars got to that day. Wrap around lights. These lights are they they not super nice, but they nice enough. They look kind of plain to be true, but they could they could have did better to, on these lights if you ask me. But I still like a way to sit away from the car, the truck, the SUV, whatever you want to call it. I still like how they do that. That still looks good. And then they got the little light right there. I like this light because it's two different colors. Then they got the QX60 letting you know what you're getting. The QX60 right there, bam, right in your face. QX60. I don't know, this this looking like it's only got it's only got one dorsal one one breathing apparatus. Don't like that. But it is what it is. This ain't this ain't this SUV is not for speed, it's for luxurious riding for style. And it definitely looks good. We got the bumper at the bottom, we got the two marker lights at the bottom, as you can see. Right there. Right there. Then you got your little sensors in the in the on the bumper right there. And right there. You got your infinity sign going right there. Then you got the infinity right there. That's the saying infinity. In case you didn't know what this sign means, this emblem means, it tells you right there infinity in chrome. They should have made the infinity same color as the car. That would have been, that would have been crazy. That would have been crazy daisy. But I didn't make it. Then you got up there. You got your window. Back window. You got a uh, windshield wiper on the uh, back window. So that's fancy dancy. We hit the button. There should be a camera down here. Yep, there's your camera right there. You got your camera right above your license plate right there. Hit this button and we'll open this up. There we go. It makes a little sound. Doot, doot, doot. Boom. It's three rows. It's a three row seater. I'm going to let y'all know a little bit about that in a second. Lift that up. That's where your little spare is. Or somewhere in here. No, the spare is under. I'm tripping. I'm tripping my bad. I'm I, I, sorry about that. That's the boss system right there. I apologize. Acoustic wave system, actually. Probably be beating in here. Probably got some thump in here a little bit. You hit this little button right here. You let the seat up. You want to have more cargo space. Hit that button. Hit that and release it. You have more cargo space. This thing is nice. Got your 12 volt plug for a charger right there. Hook that up for a little net. Luggage net. You can hook that right there. And you can open these up right there see bam bam see that bam that's a little speaker back here and that's it in the back you want to shed it you see that button right there tap that button you ain't even got to do nothing you just let it do itself you paid all that money it better be able to shed by itself when you pay all that money you jittery we ain't playing no games and then you got like a little spoiler off the back and you see got the little lip like you got a little spoiler out the back looking real good looking real nice then you got the little fin right there. The fin, the shark fin, we call it the radio fin. Your luggage things, you can put luggage on top of this bad boy, as you can see. This thing is nice. This thing is real nice. Let's see, we're gonna pop the hood, and I'm gonna talk to y'all in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this hood, because I'm by myself. 
So I'm gonna need a little help popping the hood. You dig? Back in action, baby. We back. There go that motor right there. I told you, V6, 292. V6 got 295 horsepower. You know, they cover everything nowadays, so you really can't see what's going on, what kind of components is going on in here, but I just like to show it, you know, because, you know, people like to see stuff like that. You want to still, like I said, you may not be able to come here physically and see this vehicle, and you may, maybe, and you might be in the market of buying one of these, and I just want to show you as much as I can. And that's the motor, man, 295 horsepower. I'm not for sure about the torque, but I will have, I will leave all that in the description. I will leave a description, in the description, I will definitely tell you some specs, the important ones that you would like to know about this vehicle. I definitely will do that for you because you know T-Light is always looking out for the T-Light crew. You know what I'm saying? The Light Warriors, the Light crew. I got to always look out for y'all, man. Oh yeah, man. Merch coming soon. You see that, baby? If you want one of these hats, man, hit me up in the comments and I definitely, we can definitely work something out and I definitely get you one. Jidig! But yeah, we're going to go ahead and shut this hood, man. We're going to get inside, see what's going on with the inside. And uh, like I said, to all mechanics, you don't got to get under your hood and hold up. It holds itself up, so you ain't got to worry about that. Yeah, let's work our way to the back. Back seat action. See what's talking about in the back seat. Ooh-wee, ooh-wee, gooey, booey. Man, let's get in here. Man, this thing's spacious off the gate. Off the gate, I'm telling you. This thing is spacious. Then a man, this thing's super spacious. Look at this. Look at, look at the room. Man, I'm going to lay down real quick. I'm going to lay down so y'all can see me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, baby. You can go to sleep in here. If y'all on a long ride, you know what I'm saying? You can lay on down. Huh? We there yet? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's nice and spacious back here, man. <clears throat> Open up that door. See what the door looking like. Man, they spent some money on this now. This is like leatherish. The top of it is like leather. Then you got your uh, off chrome. It's like an alloy looking color handle, which looks real good. It accentuates with the dark gray. Then you got like some uh, wood grain, like wood grainish looking stuff. I don't know what to, what to call it, but it looks real good, man. It's look, you look closer, look real good. Then you got the little alloy right there going around that little fake like wood, wood wood grain. This is all leather down here. Then you got your little gray stitching, your window right there, matching it with the color, with the little chrome right there. They paid attention to all that. Look at that, it's chrome right there. I don't know why it's two cup holders. Maybe this is for you. This is for your water, and that's for your beer. I don't know, man. I'm just throwing that out there. You dig? <laughs> well, I don't know what it's for, but uh, it's got two cup holders, or you can just pull a whole bunch of gumballs on there and go crazy, man. Eat gum all day while you're on a long little road trip. That goes your speakers right there. Bam, the speakers right there. Bang, bang, you bang, bang. Shut the dodo. You don't know. Mm -hmm. You can put your little files. You like I said, man. Men in black, James Bond files. You know, you ride in the back, man. You might be CIA or something, man. Y'all could talk, man. Pull the files out. Y'all be like, yeah. Pull that file out the uh. Right there, and we're gonna talk about what's going on, T Light. I'm just playing. <laughs> Stop playing. But yeah, you can control your climate back here and everything. Climate controls, all that. You can control it. So that's that's top name. And these are heated seats back here too. I believe these are heated seats. I'm not for sure. I don't I don't see no heated seat thing right here. So don't don't get me the line, but it look like these are they vented and everything. These are I'm I'm gonna go on the limb and say these are heated seats. Yeah, these are heated seats. Man, and this is a you can sit. You can sit three people up front if you want to, but I, I don't know. I don't know why you would sit three people up front in the back in the second row when you got a whole another row back there for two people. Two people right there, another two people, maybe three, then another two. So that's six, maybe seven people can fit in here. If you go hood, if you go hood style, if you go hood style, three in the back, another three. That's six. One in the back of the hatch. So you got one back there, the hatch. You can have three right there in that seat, that third row. The second row, you can have another three people, and that's two people. So that would be six, seven, nine people can fit in this if you really wanted to be uncomfortable. Maybe you could squeeze one more person. But if you do that, you're, going to, you, you're acting crazy. But other than that, man, let's go ahead and look at these seats, man. These seats are leather. They got like a little, like a white plasticky thing that i don't know what it is but it's for design it's seat design got the stitching in it man it's nice man these seats are nice and real comfortable you got your little cup holder i don't know what this is maybe it's ink pens when you might might be doing a uh, presentation later you gotta have your ink pens right there i don't know but yeah you got that put that up up and look here you got the hair rest all that man it's all the stitching you got the, the stitching all on there and everything everything looks good on here man this, this bad boy is nice Bad boy, so this that's, this bad boy top of the volcano hot. It's definitely top of the volcano hot. And as I lean back here, the back row, the last third row, 
You got cup holders right here. Two cup holders again. You can get drunk back here. They want you to get drunk up in this uh, QX60. They want you to get funky dunky back here. They want you to get sloppy drunk. Cause you got cup holder, cup holder, cup holder. It's like 10 cup holders in this thing. You got a charger port right there. Probably got another one right there. Man, they paid some money. I don't think these seats is heated, but they look like they heated too. I ain't gonna give me the line, but they look they, they, they look like they are. You got a speaker right there. Another speaker right there. Man, this thing is nice. You can't, you ain't got no little folders or nothing thing holders back there, but it's still nice. I can, I know this is, this is definitely a traveling type of vehicle. This is made for comfort, luxury, luxurious. <laughs> yeah. Let's go ahead and go to the front, where, where all the action happens. Go to the front. Before we go to the front, man, let's check out a couple things that this this bad boy's got. It's a six cylinder, 3.5 liter, 295 horsepower. Got a third row seat, auxiliary port, all wheel drive, backup cam, blind spot monitoring, Bluetooth, dual climate control, radio head, uh, high end headlights, leather. Man, we got Apple, uh, Apple Care, Android Auto. Man, this thing is, hey, hey, it's got everything. You get 19 miles in the city, 26 on the highway. That's great compared to the shit being on the size of this thing. That's great. Yeah, man, that's nice. 19 in the, 19 in the city, 26 on the highway. Yeah, you, you definitely getting your money's worth. Let's go ahead and go back inside. Let's get in the front where, where, where the action goes down. That's what we Let's get in the front, you know what I mean? Let's get in the front of this bad boy. You dig? Off the top, we're gonna go to the infotainment. We got the infotainment center right here. Looking real nice. Touch. This right here is on navigation, but we're gonna send it to uh we're gonna go home on this bad boy. If I can figure out where to go. Apps, bam, hit the apps button. Hey man, don't judge me. I ain't never been in one of these bad boys. It's my first time being in one of these ever, too, by the way. You got your app, garage, all your little apps, and you hit the back button, driving performance. Bam, hit that button. Quick guide, I don't know what that is, but we just gonna hit it. Back that out, we got the clock, the compass, swipe over. I just wanna swipe over and see what was over there. Nothing's over there, I guess you can set it up so you can have more apps. But you also can control everything. Here go the fan, we are gonna turn that down cause it's blowing like crazy. Control the fan, your climbers and everything. You got your flashers, that button. Control your climbing with that, just in case this goes haywire. And it can go haywire. Control your navigation. Hit the navig hit the navigation button. Watch to turn that. Bring up all the navigational things. Bad. That's tight. And you can move it around like that with the little dial. See, I'm moving it around with the dial. I'm trying to tell you this QX60 is top of the line. They got everything you can want. Or to hit the apps button if you want to go to apps, info center. This thing got everything. Settings. This woo. Control your seat air right here dual climate control also you can control your radio down here you don't have to control it up there you can control it down here everything you want right there you got your little charger port thing right here i don't even know man you can barely get your hand stuck in here it's so tight but it's still nice your two cup holders you got your gear shifter you know they spent some money on this look at it it's got the stitching and everything it got the infinity sign right there this thing nice nice then you got the Park, reverse, neutral, drive. You can go into stick mode if you do that. I'm gonna show you our reverse camera in a second, but let's look inside. We've got the cluster. As you can see, we just look at the info. We're gonna look at the cluster. The cluster is really nice. Let me pan out a little bit. You see this little cluster? It, it sits sloped. It's like sloped so you can see it better. It's not just sitting straight up. It's it's kind of it's sloped so you can see everything better. And you can control that with uh this little button right here. And uh, also you got your speed limit. It says you can do 160. Your fuel's down there, it's almost full. There's your mileage and everything right there, your trip planner right there. I got my fat fingers in the way, but yeah. And there goes your engine, RPMs. Also that goes the, uh, the heat, the heat, how hot your motor is right now, right there. You know, if you look at the top, this is leather. All oh, this is leather. You got your Bosch system right there. This Bosch, it's the stitching, white stitching, gray stitching. Man, this thing is crazy. This thing is ridiculous. Everything you need right there. Your lights controlled right there. See that? Look at all that. 
your seat settings right there in the door open up that door so you can see it a little more same way as the back seats you got your little fake wood grain or metallic grain whatever you want to call it it's leather leather metallic candles all your little buttons for your doors your windows your doors lock the windows this is your little gripper so you can shut the door pull it to you you got your down there you got your cup holder your beer holder you can throw some of them in uh whoppers some almond joy whatever you want to throw in there yep and this way you can put to control your sports you got sports mode right here you got a sports mode you can put it in eco snow sport this is normal sport normal eco snow you do all that with that with a, with a flick of the knob you control your heated seats with these buttons right here bam bam each person control their own heat if they want to that's your lower compartment right there you know what i like to say put some dorito i wouldn't put no bag i wouldn't dump no doritos in there man that thing hold all type of lint but yeah and then you got your little charger ports right there you got an auxiliary hookup and a video hookup and you got another little charger port right there you hit the upper button bam that's where you got your seating compartment put your cell phones in there whatever you want to put you can put some nachos and cheese there and go crazy if you really want to you might know, get dipping them and stuff you know dip them and eat them if you want to you're gonna mess it up but hey you can do whatever you want in your own vehicle i'm just giving you some options you know what i'm saying everything right here this thing is fully loaded got your moon roof right there you put your moon roof controls right here bam you see me opening it up bam so y'all can see sky's not the limits but we shooting for the sky yay yay We'll shut that on up put your sunglasses in there if you want to there goes your SOS if you ever in trouble hit the SOS I don't know how fast they gonna get to you but we hope they get to you fast enough you know what I'm saying you should light control all your lights yep got your garage opener all on all on your uh, little mirror rear view mirror man I'm looking kind of handsome uh, yeah and that's pretty much it inside man all we got to do now is uh we got to take this bad boy for a spin i'm gonna throw it in sports mode that way we know for sure this bad boy is faster we're gonna check this q60 out to make sure it moves real fast either it's gonna go slow or it's gonna feel fast or it's just gonna be just right i'm thinking it's just gonna be just right but we're gonna see that in a second man i'm gonna get back to y'all in a minute i'm gonna adjust these seats and get myself right make sure i got my license on me and i'm gonna make sure i'm buckled up Jig, see you in a second. Bam! I'm back, man. I'm showing y'all that reverse camera. As you can see, it's two screens. You got your regular reverse camera, and this is an over the head view of the uh, vehicle, which is really nice, man. It's got the two cameras. You can see the overhead view. You also can change views, as you can see. See how you can change all the views. I prefer this view because I think this view is really nice because you actually can see what's on the side of you when you're backing up. It's telling you that, you know, got, as you can see, I got the little parking uh, stump, stumps right there. It's telling me it's parking stumps right there on the side. I think that's amazing, man. Like I said, this QX60 is really fully loaded, man. It's going after all those luxurious vehicles as well as the ones that are not luxurious, like Explorers and everything. Jeep is going after all of them, man. This thing got everything. So... I'm trying to tell you, this Durango, you might, this, you got some competition right here because this is, this is luxurious on top of a. Uh, we're gonna see if it's got the performance as a uh, Durango, but so far, as far as look, ride style, this is beating the Durango out, and I'm a Mopar guy, and it's definitely way more comfortable in this than a Durango. Oh man, it's got some pep in the step. Say so it's got 160 on the dash. And, I, I tapped on the gas a little bit and it's telling me it can do every bit of 160. I don't know how fast it's going to take to get to that 160. I'm probably going to be sh shaking like a lawn, but I'm pretty sure it can get you there. It didn't say it was going to get you there the cool way. It didn't say it was going to get you there not shaking. Look at that Corvette, right? I mean, not, I'm not Trans Am. Look at that Trans Am Firebird. I said Corvette. I'm thinking about a Corvette because I saw one earlier today. But yeah, look at that. That, that thing nice. Here it comes about the ride passes too. We gotta get it. We gotta get it, man. It's only right that we get it. We gotta get it with the shaker on it and everything. Woo, it's that turbo. Who I can imagine what a turbo was back then. This probably was trash. That turbo probably slower than a mug. Probably had about 200 horsepower. That's okay. Back in the day it was a lot. Ooh, this thing is gone. Oh 
man this thing is all i can already tell this thing is really fast for an suv i can already tell this is right up under for those who want to know what the q60 is this is right up under the qx80 this is the one right up under the qx80 i believe uh, man i think it might be a qx70 i don't know if I'm, I'm not for sure but i know i think this is the one that's right under the qx80 i don't know maybe it's one notch under the qx80 I don't know. Tell me in the comments if it's a QX70. I don't feel like Googling it to check it out. Just tell me in the comments. Let me know. And let me know in the comments if you would like to purchase one of these vehicles. If you think this vehicle looks good or not. Tell me if you think this vehicle looks good or not in the comments. Let me know if it looks good or not. I'm about to sneeze. I'm about to let y'all know ahead of time. <coughs> Excuse me. Woo! I had the snizzies. But yeah, like I was saying, man, let me know in the comments if you think this is that, that you would get one of these vehicles. You think it's nice. Let's hit this gas. See what this performance like. Man, this thing's screaming. Oh man, you know what? I'm gonna be all the way honest, y'all. The RT Durango, this thing might be able to keep up with the RT Durango without the horsepower. This thing only got 295. The Durango got 270, 275, 270. I mean, not, I said, I meant to say 370. But this thing is, man, all wheel drive is crazy. Listen to that motor screaming. Look at the trees going by. If you wanted to know how fast I was going, look at the trees going by. That can tell you everything you need to know. Woo wee! I ain't gonna tell you how fast I got it up to, but let me just tell you something. Let me tell you something. It was moving, moving and grooving. Look at how you, look at the view. Look at the view. All I gotta say is if you pull up next to this in the RT Durango or Explorer. You might get burnt up, meaning you might get smoked. This thing is fast. Go ahead, baby girl. Scared money don't make no money. Ooh wee! Yeah, this thing is this thing is awesome, baby. QX60, two thumbs up, man. I have no complaints about this thing. The ride is great. The uh, suspension is excellent. I done hit a couple bumps. I went to I went through Vietnam right there. Me and Vietnam, me and Landmine City. I went through Landmine City Street, the city street, and I didn't. I felt a little bit of the bumps, but this is only natural. But uh, I didn't feel them enough to be like, man, this 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 suspension is terrible. This the suspension on this thing is wonderful, excellento, Examundo, Bill and Ted style. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but yeah, I definitely get this two thumbs up. Man, I would tell you, I would say go buy one of these if you can afford it, because I'm pretty sure the price tag on this bad boy is not cheap at all. Is at infinity. I mean, I know they don't really make cheap cars, but you're gonna pay for it. But I'm yeah, it's just worth the money. It's definitely worth the money if you're gonna get it. I would say it's definitely worth the money. I would say get it if you have, if you can afford it. But also do your research, man. You might write you, for the price tag. You can get a Durango RT or SRT probably for the price tag, and an SRT Durango is probably better than this. But uh, and you probably get it's probably gonna be more funner. But it's to each his own. That's just for people that like to go fast. You know what I mean? This is fast enough for an SUV. But if you want to go super fast, then you get an SRT Durango or the new Hellcat Durango. But uh, yeah, if you want to purchase this, you can get in contact with r and I'm leaving this link in the description. They will try to help you get this vehicle. I know they will, man. They do everything they can to get you in this vehicle and make sure everything is good for you so you can afford it. But yeah, make sure you look into the QX60 before you buy an Ex uh, Explorer Durango a tahoe any of those things man make sure you look into this vehicle too because this vehicle might win you over as you can see i press on that gas and i'm moving i'm moving and grooving yeah i definitely get this two thumbs up man i'm, I'm gonna get back to y'all when i get back to r and i'm gonna pay attention a little bit because the traffic's kind of busy today as you can see but i'm gonna get back to y'all in a second jiddig i'm back baby made it back safely made it back safely boom qx60 baby you a quick little walk around this a little bit not too much front end action you can get some front action a little bit of that side action wonderful suv real quick real peppy but on top of the peppiness the uh the drivability the driving the comfortability and all that 9.6 all together i'm gonna get this thing about a 9.6 because this thing is wonderful man only thing I don't like is probably that price tag. It's probably ridiculous how much they want for it. See how much R&B selling it for. 
I don't know how much they're selling it for, but I know it's gonna be a pretty penny. But other than that, man, if you're in the mall, in the, move, in the uh, market to get you a SUV, make sure you check out the QX90, I mean QX60. Definitely an excellent vehicle. I would definitely check it out if I could, if I had the money. If you got the money, make it happen. And before I go, man, I'm gonna leave you with something positive. You know what I always say, stay away from negative who? Negative Ned and negative Nancy. They will ruin your life. They will ruin your life if you allow them to. Always be positive, be a leader, don't be a follower. Lead your, lead your crew to the promised land. Don't lead them to the slums, lead them to the promised land. Be great. Always shoot for the sky. The sky is not the limits, but you're shooting for something, so shoot for the sky. And with that being said, man, it's your boy, t light Oh, yeah. And I'm out this piece. Jitig. Stacking out with me, lonely Being a fan, that's what they call